Hey Hodies, welcome to my channel. My name is Hope Mess Tom and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're gonna be on a very special secret spy mission to buy the ever elusive BK Beauty 105 brush to see if Kaki was right about it. But if you are new to my channel, hi, thank you for clicking on this video. My channel is really about loving my makeup collection as it currently is and being critical of new makeup releases. And so all of the makeup you're gonna see in this video today is makeup that I already had. I didn't buy any of it. I did buy the brush that we're gonna discuss for the purposes of this video, but I was I wanted to do like a very fun, stupid concept, and so I'm also very fun and stupid. So if any of that sounds good to you, I would love to have you subscribe. Make sure you like this video before you get too far into it and forget, because like liking the video is very helpful to me. So uh, we could do that too, I, I mean, while we're here. And I'm also on Patreon.com if you would like to support me there. As always, there is no pressure to support me on Patreon. I'm just so happy that you are here watching this video and hopefully having a good time. I would like to thank my current patrons. Thank you all so much for supporting me. And you guys are the best and you make videos like this happen. And I can buy stupid things like this makeup brush for the whole purpose of a stupid video to be stupid. And that's great. I love that energy. But let's throw it back to my spy era my secret spy tumbling era. Era, era. If I throw this at my head, I might cause a concussion. So maybe that. Anyway, anyway, let me throw you back to that footage. We have a very important mission under which I am bringing you along. It's a secret mission if you could not figure it out from that crazy intro. We're gonna buy the brush and I'm gonna prove to all of us that Kaki is wrong. God, I hope I don't Google anything weird. Okay, we'll just click on her most recent video and then we're gonna go to her description box because if I'm gonna buy this, if I'm gonna buy this, we're gonna get Khaki some coin. So we're gonna try to figure out where to go from here. My top shelf. La Perla. Why is it not in here? Khaki. Hello and shh. welcome. My friend, shh. What? Khaki. I didn't think that I would be trying to hack the mainframe just to get these this BK brush from Khaki do you have a code oh Khaki 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 uh, trying to help my girl out giving her some of that cash money back oh thank god discount links discount links discount links what is it BK beauty Khaki 10 Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. I already have a promo code, so thank you very much, shop. Oh, I don't know which one it is. It's a big one. Is it this one? Oh, I guess it wouldn't be the large, it's, is it this one? I need Khaki's head for scale. It, is it that one? Okay, Khaki's head for scale did not help. Let me go Instagram. I don't want to, ugh. I don't want to message her because that will ruin the fun. Now let's go back to last summer when I did my video, <laughs> my becoming khaki video. Oh man, we're going to be scrolling for some time. Okay, she used the Izumea palette. Not refreshed reviews. It was like, that was the first Izumea video. But she was like, it was like a makeup playtime. <gasps> Here it is. Okay, I know she uses this brush in this video. But they're super sheer. Oh no, that looks like that other one. <gasps> they're sold out. Is it this one? What brush is that? Okay, but what about when Kaki responded? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh no. When did Kaki talk about me on her channel? 
All right, we're gonna have to do some more digging. YouTube.com slash ho- <laughs> There, here we go. So the khaki left him four months ago. <laughs> four months ago, okay? So four months ago, four months ago, four, was this the one? Was it this one? No, Jesus, how messed up, khaki. Okay, there's Beth's. <laughs> Four months ago. I, can I see the time? Four months ago. Oh, she made fun of me. No, it would have to have been a more, am, am I in the luxury beauty fails video? So basically I have two very subtly different looks on my face that uh, I remember. <laughs> she did put me in tag me. Okay, let's see. I remember Beth and I talking about it. New at Sephora. Kind of. Damn Thanks, Beth. New... So the thing with this, this is the BK 105. 105. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so it's not the one that's out. Ugh. Okay. Add to cart. What a time. Add order note. Okay. No. Decline. I appreciate you, but I don't need an upgraded offer. Thank you. Wow. Khaki 10. Why is my card saved here? We're so lucky that I can operate machinery at this point. Uh, I don't know anything about your brushes. I'm so sorry. Shh. Don't tell Khaki. Well, I'm going to tag Khaki in this video, but don't tell her that I did this today on March 1st. Wow. A whole week to get to me? I mean, that's okay. I really don't care. Anyway, did I... Hopefully my screen recorded all that. Did we get all that? I'll see you when I get the brush. <laughs> <laughs> it's here. It hath arrived. Wow, this steals my lighting. <laughs> it's inside. There got to be something inside, a place to go. But I love this rose gold packaging, it's beautiful. I'm gonna look in here and I'm gonna react to how big it is. What if it's not as big as I think it is? What if my face is so big, my whole body is so big, it doesn't look as big whenever I use it as it does on khaki? That's my fear. I don't know how petite Khaki is. How tall is Khaki? Khaki strikes me as a tall person, but maybe she's not tall. My fear hath come true. <laughs> My fear has come true. Although this, hold on, now hold on. This handle's huge. Okay. All right, let's get this off. All right, okay. In theory, one should wash their brushes before using them. Am I gonna put that into practice today? No. Let me just tell you about this brush in my hands right now. It's not really a, it's not a, it's not very luxury feeling. And I, I don't need my brushes to feel like super luxury, but I feel like whenever I've looked at people using these, I'm like, oh, that's like, I'm sure that's like a nice and heavy brush, but it's, it's not, and that's okay. But it is, it is big. The handle is big. The ferrule is huge. I think because Khaki has been using her brush for some time, I feel like her bristles are a little more spread out, which is what made me think that it looks real. I don't know, that's huge. That is huge. But, well, this is my jumbo bronzer brush from Sonia G. And so like, okay, they're like about the same size. However, this is also has a flat side to it. So whenever I'm using it, I am putting that flat side up against my face. I'm never using it like this. We're gonna put it to the test. I feel like I've seen Khaki use this for cream, blush, and bronzer in the same video. She just kinda like tap, 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 taps it on. The bristles are really soft, cause these are synthetic. These are you know, cruelty-free brushes, vegan, et cetera, et cetera. They always start softer. Well, I don't know. Now I'm just like petting all of my brushes. I just feel like the bristles are a little more mobile than I was expecting them to be. I think I was expecting something like very firm. 
it, it, it's dense, but it's not as dense as I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought this was going to be like, like the Sonia G Jumbo Base Brush, which is like, these are really dense and these don't really move. Like, this is packed with hair, whereas this one is like less packed with hair. Well, with synthetic hair bristles. So let's just do a face of makeup. I feel like we could, I could take you along for the ride. I don't think I'm gonna do anything like super complex with me every day. Um, every time I'm sitting down to do a makeup, I don't think I'm gonna do anything super complex. Maybe we'll do blue. Just some blue. Ooh, wow. I'm not, I just knocked over everything. So it's one of those rare occasions in Pittsburgh where it's like a nice day and my dog really wants to be outside. However, she's been barking every time I put herself up, put her outside. And I'm like, you can't, you don't get to have both. You can sit out here quietly and enjoy, but now she's throwing a hissy fit because I'm not letting her outside. I know, I feel like every time I talk about Riot, everyone's like, justice for Riot, justice for Riot. What about my justice? What about justice for me? Where's my peace? I'll never know peace. Not in this economy. I love how we blame the economy on everything. I, I mean, <laughs> there's a lot wrong with the economy <laughs> and I understand that but like I love how be like I've inconvenienced not in this economy I, and also I won't inconvenience myself because of the economy think about it wow that was a lot brighter than I thought it was gonna show up but it's fine but yeah I think I am gonna do a blue look I want to use Charlotte Tilbury pop shot the blue one I want to use that on my eyes today I haven't used it in a while in fact, I think I've only used it like twice. So really getting $34 worth out of it. Although I didn't pay $34 for it. I think I paid $14 for it because I had a gift card. So I like paid $14 out of pocket. Anyway, how's everyone doing? I, this weekend, some emotions really caught up with me and I wasn't ready for that. Honestly, all tea, all shade. I wasn't ready for emotions to hit me this weekend. I'm assuming that a lot of my fellow LGBTQIA viewers and subscribers are probably feeling this way to uh, seeing all of the anti-legislation towards us right now is pretty alarming. And I have to admit that I really feel like I don't know what to do. And I, I'm starting to feel, you know, it's always a risk leaving your house, but it's starting to feel like a m bigger risk to leave my house. And while I would really love to say that I'm punk and I really want to be on the front lines, I'm also just like very scared, but I also need to be both things. So uh, I'm feeling a lot of feelings about that. And I think I have been for some time, but I just kind of been like suppressing that feeling. So I feel, I don't know, I, I just, I'm feeling a lot of things. I'm feeling quite a bit of things. And so that kind of caught up to me this weekend, which led to a lot of crying. <laughs> um, and then I started watching The Hunger Games and then I was like, this doesn't feel like the fun romp that it once felt like. It feels scary real. You know what's so funny is that if the, this is just stuff that's been that's sitting on my desk right now, sitting on my vanity, like the shadows I'm choosing to use. It's like, if it's just sitting there, I'm gonna use it. This is the Viseart Grand Pro and I just use it so so much. I, I certainly did not choose to do a khaki like look. I said, let me choose violence. Let me choose blue. And it doesn't, it didn't have to be monochrome. I could have just used like oranges or something if I really wanted to. But I, I did, I feel like I, 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 I don't know. I guess I don't really normally have the inclination to do blue. And I was like, just follow your hope. Also, what was really funny is like, I, not, a, I mean, just a couple days ago, I asked on my community tab, I was like, what does everyone want to hear about? And I feel like everyone said completely different things. Um, and I also told people to like, and it's just, it's really interesting to see what you guys want to hear me specifically talk about. Like whenever you're like, I would like for Tom to review an eyeshadow palette. It's like, that's going to take me a long time to do. <laughs> if you're looking to know now while the thing is in stock, if it's like a, a hot commodity, you're not going to get my review until it's absolutely out of stock. And I don't do that on purpose. Like it kind of just happened with the Earthborn collection, like the Shine by SD shades that I bought. Oh, I should have used those. <laughs> well, that was the Vizier Grand Pro 1X. Those blues, just two. I, I don't know. I'm kind of like amused. I appreciate that you guys appreciate my opinion on eyeshadow but it's so funny because it's like the least interesting thing for me to review and yet here I am putting blue eyeshadow all over my lids today which would make you think maybe I really it's not that I don't like the process of putting eyeshadow on that's not really it but it's just like I, I, it's I I have somehow you know like how some people will just use whatever is the best if it's drugstore or if it's luxury and like for the most part I 
I like, you know, the feeling and effect of luxury. But other people have like cracked the code pretty much where they're like, yeah, I can just buy the thing that works the best. It doesn't have to be in a pretty package. I feel like I feel that I like I've, I've ascended and found myself on the other side of eyeshadow where I'm like, yeah, I don't know that anything that comes out in an eyeshadow formula is gonna feel special to me in any kind of like meaningful way. I actually think that this brush is supposed to be used for foundation, but I don't think I've ever seen Kaki use it for foundation, so I'm gonna wait until I get to bronzer and stuff. I'm also gonna throw a little bit of this highlighter on my inner corner. I feel like I don't like, I just need something to blend from the inner corner into the blue. Oh shit, I could have done, oh, I could have done ice blade. That's the thing, going back to that. It's just like, I, I take my time reviewing eyeshadows, but also like, for the most part, like I'm much more picky about mattes than I am about shimmers. And I don't know, it's like not the thing that excites me anymore. And someone did leave the comment, they were like, I'd rather see you review things that you're interested in. And while I'm not not interested in like, what's going on in makeup right now. Ooh, let's use this, cause I haven't used this in a while. Let's play with some new stuff. It's like almost like a let's play with, this feels appropriate for the eyeshadow I have on. But yeah, I kind of am feeling like, I don't know. It's not that I'm not interested in makeup. It's just like sometimes like new stuff gets released and I'm like, okay. And as a creator, speaking from this side of things, I've said this many times on my channel, but it's worth repeating. Anytime I explicitly review eyeshadow, it does better, especially if it's like a new palette because people really are into eyeshadow, but I'm much more interested in like foundations and stuff. And I understand that like whenever I review a foundation, I do a pretty like hefty review. That's like a, that's a pretty big buy-in for most people. Let's keep playing with just stuff that I, I have. I'm gonna put this Gucci foundation on. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like not super interested in eyeshadow. I mean, like there are a couple things eyeshadow wise that I like am vaguely interested in. But we might have to take a turn to review like older things where like I'm not really reviewing new things and I need to like swallow a little bit of like a, a pride pill to be like, it's okay if this doesn't get like the best views because you're like talking about and reviewing things that you really want to be talking about and review. I do think after reading all of the comments that what I think that our interest really aligns in is like interest in the face paints. Not is that are they called the face paints? The things from About Face. That's, that seemed to be the one that like most struck most of you. Also, I'm gonna say this here. I don't know. It might sound a little rude, but it's not meant to be rude. But a lot of people have asked me to review Fido Surgeon's blushes, and I don't know what else I need to tell you about the Fido Surgeon's blushes that I probably already have it. I don't know if you're trying to get me to review more shades or not. I already have reviewed the Fido's Surgeon's blushes. I have the shades that I would want and I don't want to buy more shades. I'm just, I, I can't. One, swatching doesn't interest me really at all. So I don't think I'm ever going to be like a good, like even if I had access to an entire collection, my heart's not in swatching. So I just, it's like, it's not something like I really care to do. There are so many people out there who love to swatch everything in a collection and have the means and accessibility to do so. And they really take their time swatching and curating and trying to get good lighting. But I hate doing that. So I think that we, we need, we meaning I and like, because like, you know, I think there's a little bit of me in there too, kind of being like, okay, we need to like let go of the idea that this is ever like a thing that I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna do. And I think when you're considering the kind of way I like to not only run my channel, but like invite makeup into my space, I am trying to review things that I am interested in too, in as well as you, because someone's pointed out that it's like, yeah, you wanna see what I'm interested in reviewing? Yeah, I'm not trying to like really bring in things that don't have a chance of sticking around in my collection. Like I really wanna try to find things that I think are really good. And you know, we're gonna find duds along the way, but I think going in with like an ulterior motive doesn't feel right. So anyway, what I think is gonna happen is I'm gonna try buy some of those about face eyeshadow things. This, this foundation really throws me. This foundation really throws me. That's not what this video is about, but this foundation, I'm gonna let you know, it throws me. We're now at a very crucial point. I'm gonna contour. I feel like this brush is also too big for contour. Like contour, you need to be a little more precise. So I'm going to use that. And I know I just said contradictorily, I was like, I don't really wanna review eyeshadow, but I do think that the eye paints are interesting. And my thought was, my thought was, my big brain thought was, was to, I have some, of the color fix things from Danessa Myricks. And I know that Victoria Beckham just released eyeshadow sticks and people had expressed interest in that. And some people expressed 
interest in the Hindash color fluids. So my thought was like, I'll buy a couple of each thing and then we will kind of do like a best of one and done's, Mo mostly liquid, but also the Victoria Beckham ones feel like aligned with me too. I feel like that would be like a fun thing for us to go through and experience. And also watching me interact with things like that would also probably be worth your time, probably be fun for you. But I do, I do need to buy a shimmery Danessa Myricks color fix. Cause someone did ask me a long time ago about those and I don't have a shimmery one. I have, I have the neon ones, which I was just looking those up the other day and I could not find them anymore. And that made me really upset cause I did want the yellow one, but maybe they're just out of stock right now. Although I don't really understand Anessa Myricks as a brand and what gets to stay and what gets to go. Cause I'm just not paying an immense amount of attention to it. And some people did say they wanted me to review Danessa Myricks and that's like not off that's not off. I've really thought about it. Looking at her brand is a little tough for me. And I mean that not in like a bad way, but it's like, so she has like the, it's like the yummy skin foundation. And it's like, well, what I want to do the yellow yummy skin foundation or what I want to do like the color, whatever the, the one that comes in the really small pump that's super concentrated, like which one would I rather review? Right. And so it comes, it comes to a point where it's like, would I want to review like the professional stuff? and like have fun playing with that? Or would I w rather review like the consumer friendly stuff? These are all things I'm thinking. Apparently I'm just gonna rant at you. We're now at the time. We're gonna bronze. I have my Chanel bronzer here. Okay. I know khaki's a pouncer, so I'm just gonna pounce. Sorry, my neighbor seems to be building something yet again. My neighbors, they're the kind of people, so we're not, I don't live in the wealthiest of neighborhoods, but I don't live in like a bad neighborhood. But my neighbor lives in like, um, him and his wife live in a single floor house. My floor, like they have a basement and then just like a main floor. And what they do, and I think they both make good money. And what I think they do is they just continue to like improve their house. Like, I don't think they have any debt, but like, I think they continue to like, just keep improving their house. And he's like pretty handy. And in the summertime, they spend a lot of time outside, which is really annoying for me because I really affects when I can like sit down and film. But anyway, he's working on something. So if you hear a saw, I apologize. I found that it doesn't really pick up with the way that I have my mic set. Here's the thing. I don't know if Khaki just is using more pigmented bronzers than me, pigmented product. While this is a very natural application of bronzer, it felt like it took some time to get there. And I don't know that I love that journey for me, but it is pretty, I'm gonna add another layer, but it's like, I think that, I think the difference is, is that Khaki really likes to finesse her face in a way that I'm not super interested in finessing my face. Like sitting here and doing this and like pouncing this into my face is like tedious work for me. And I know some like, I'm not interested, mama. Laganja Estranja, queen of everything. I really want to live that life. And their house, I've been inside it once. It is, it's it's beautiful on the inside. Like they really have done the work. So I can't imagine what they're doing now. They just, they built last year their project. They didn't really, they weren't outside as much because they worked so much on this. It's like this outdoor patio that has like a grill built into like stone. And they built, <laughs> they built a huge fence. And I think it's so that to keep me out, but it's, I, I mean, not really. I don't think it's really to keep me out, but I, it's for their privacy. And I, I, honestly, I don't begrudge them their privacy. We have less and less of it every day. It's like just funny because they built this like really big wall. And so one side of our fence is like pretty low and the other side of our fence is like, that's me shedding. That's not the brush, by the way. This is the difference between me and Khaki. I'm, I'm sitting here doing this and I'm like, I just want to be done. Oh God, do I just want to be done. I just feel like this isn't dense enough to pick up product and I don't know how Khaki does this. The The effect is really nice and airbrushed. Maybe she's doing it with powder bronzers. I, I swear to God, she holds up creams and does this. And then at the end of her makeup, she applies more blush with this. And I just, is it cream or is it powder? Oh my God, applying blush with this, with a, a powder blush really scares me. Okay. All right. I mean, it looks fine. It's a lot. It's a lot of this. It's a lot of that. I just feel like I did that forever. And I do think I remember even when I did my Becoming Khaki Reviews Beauty video, I feel like I remember whenever Khaki was like just doing things to her face and I'm like, well, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? You're doing so much to your face. It's like, it's fine. We're all allowed to have different, I was just was like, what are we still doing? Because me, I think we've just proven the point that I am 
rather impatient when it comes to do doing my makeup. Not that I rush through my makeup. Okay, we're gonna go with Mimi on the cheeks, and I'm not gonna draw it on. I'm gonna pick it up with the this godforsaken BK105 and do the khaki. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. I might have spoken too soon. Okay, wait, okay, wait a second. I think I figured out the main difference between like what me and Khaki do is like, I feel like because of the shape of my face that I really need to, while Khaki spends a lot of time finessing her eyeshadow because of, you know, the size of her eyes, how much space there is in between her eyes. And like, she's really playing with like light and color to really... Everything is more heavy on this side. I don't, I don't want that, but it does seem to be, I'm like going ham on this side. And then I feel like this side is like not getting the same love. There we go. And I feel like I do that with my cheeks where it's like the bronzer has to go in a specific place. But I, cause whenever I, even when I like did the becoming khaki video, I feel as though I was, I was like getting a little bit lost about where everything went. Did I feel like I liked it more for blush, but I feel like, I used more blush, if that makes sense. Like I felt like I had to keep going back in. Okay, I'm gonna start powdering my face. The the allure of what my neighbor's doing is like really attractive to me. They're not living above their means. They're just like, we're gonna live in a small house. Again, I'm just making assumptions. I assume they have no debt. And then they're just like making their really, like their small house just like an ideal place to be. They have people over all summer. Like their outdoor space is so beautiful. And then my outdoor space is like, it's just a backyard, it has a fence around it. But to be fair to me, this isn't, I don't own this house, my brother does. And so it's like, who am I? I'm not gonna do that. Like, you know, I'm not gonna increase the value of <laughs> of his house by like doing work outside. Also, another thing, another thing that we should all know about me, and I think I've mentioned this in another video before, but like me and yard work, we don't really get along. And it's, it's also like, I'm not really good at it. And also like, I don't wanna be good at it. Like those are all things I don't like to spend a lot of time outside. They also have a pool, but the pool was here when we moved in. Like they just have been making beautiful, more beautiful and more beautiful additions to their house as I've lived next door to them. But soon a child will be here and it'll be interesting to see what happens to our yard because Tiffany is really excited that the child will have a yard. I'm not going to put their child on my channel. Like I think we're all gonna absolutely hear him, but we're not, we're not gonna like, we're not gonna see him, okay? It's gonna be fun to see if we, you know, do anything with the outside more so. But also Tiffany said that they have a person that cuts their yard pretty inexpensively. And I was like, sometimes it's worth paying for those little luxuries. I'm adding a little bit of contour, like powder contour on top. Maria's back. <laughs> not to ignore the elephant in the room. Not to ignore the elephant in the room. Not to ignore the elephant in the... You know what's really funny is uh, in a couple weeks a Victoria Beckham review is going to go up and I think I distinctly say in the first video that I filmed when I first got those products I was like I, I, I had a mustache and I was like Maria probably won't be in the rest of these videos. Yeah I still have a couple parts of that I need to film and then we're just going to have Victoria Beckham week. I think now's the time where we add more and I think we do powder. That feels like what Khaki would do. Next. I mean, Khaki probably would have fussed with this eye a lot more than I did. It's not about her. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Victoria. I'm gonna use this bronzer because it's a little less obvious than the other bronzer I have. I guess we're just gonna, we're just gonna. Okay. <laughs> Me just like being unimpressed. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not a bad brush. I don't want to give you the illusion that's a bad, a bad brush. The way that Khaki utilizes this brush is true, truly wild to me. Okay, and so now we're going to put more blush on. I think we're going to go with this Sunbeam Eye Cheek from Shantikai. I'm going to put on some more blush. I swear to God, what's going to happen? Because I'm like having, I'm like just like, perplexed by this whole process is like someone's gonna be like you look the most beautiful you've ever looked and I'm gonna be like is it the mustache or is it the amount of bronzer I had to apply let me know <laughs> well I feel like I need to keep going 
you know, right? Like, I, I just, I feel like we're, we're already here, though. We're just going to keep applying things. Because I, I just feel like this is what khaki does, and I just don't understand. It feels like I have so much makeup on. <laughs> I think we're not, we're gonna add more blush because Kaki always talks about how she takes that Dior blush and kind of like uses it like to, to finish. So we're, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna do that. So here's the Kaleidos brush, blush. It's a similar effect. It's not, hold on. Is this doing it for you? Did it? <laughs> I'm sure Kaki's like screaming at home, like Tom, not all those colors, but I don't want to not have pink. I mean, is this pink face? Kaki, maybe you get pink face from this, using this, Big ass brush to apply your blush. Woo! I also now understand why Khaki doesn't wear a highlight. Because I just, there's just so much on your cheek already, but this is my channel, not do what I want here. Yeah. Let's go with this oldie but goodie, this Tarte Twinkle palette from forever ago. I think I'm gonna hit pan in one of these this year. It's my, I mean, it's not, a, it's not like a, a hard goal that I have, but like, there's a pretty good dip in the one. And I'm like, maybe it'll happen. Will I see the bottom of a highlighter this year? I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. I have done it with creams. I have never done it with a powder. I don't think anything other than an eyeshadow powder have I seen pan in. All right, now we're gonna douse ourselves in Fix Plus to hopefully rein it in. Rain on me, soon on me. Oh, I want to put eyeliner on. I guess I'm gonna use a blue one. I'm gonna use Blitz Blue from Pat McGrath. Every time I use the Blitz Blue eyeliner, I think of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, it's Blitz. That's really cheesy, but it is what I think of. It's like, when, I've, when else do I use the word Blitz? Other than like maybe in like a video game where it's like, dollar Blitz, cash Blitz, money Blitz. Money, please. Wow. Okay, sorry. I haven't seen my face on camera in a while. It's a lot. I'm very bronzed. I I look like the Oompa. I'm the wet Oompa Loompa. I've always feared I would be. <laughs> <clears throat> Whew. That's what's happening. I now only have one brush that has a spoolie on the other end. And you know what I always do? Lose it. You're a zebra. In the <laughs> what lip am I gonna do? Ooh, what lip am I gonna do? I look like I've gone on vacation and I came back, realized, wiser, worldly, storied, gay, non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. Maybe I'll just, I know that Kaki likes Pat McGrath lip glosses. I'm gonna put this one on. It's Future Femme. I'm not even gonna take my lip balm off. I'm just gonna put it on top because I'm a bad uh, okay, no, I actually need to take off the lip balm. It brought a lot of things to the surface. The lip balm said, your lips are crusty. I'm gonna do very like, pink. <laughs> no, do you know like, there's a very certain woman that has like a bright pink lip and is too tan. That's me in this video. If you can believe, I've only been in a tanning bed once. Gay culture did not creep up on me in a very real way. Because I could have been that person, but I've also been fat for most of my life, and I was like, it doesn't even matter if I'm tan. That's how I feel. Icy lips, icy eyes, tan face, body, body. Tan and icy, body, body. This is the final look. Mm, supple. Supple. Every night, every time I do this, hold on, I need to change the brightness because it does now. Now it's looking very scary. Nope, it's not any less scary with a different brightness. But every time I zoom in to my face like this, I'm like, no, I know why other YouTubers don't do this. It's scary. Scary. Yeah, I ha so now I have this brush, but for, in a very real way. When I compare it to the Sonia G, it's it's kind of similar, but not quite the same experience. Whereas I feel like <sighs> this has a density to it that this doesn't, but it's not like this is super light. It doesn't feel like cheap. It just like doesn't feel as nice as a Sonia G brush, which makes me feel a little bit better about it because I've been like, was like, what if I could have gotten the same experience for less? But I, I, I mean, I enjoyed this brush well enough. I think I need to figure out how I want to use this brush because I don't think that's it. And that could have also been a part of this video, but I'm I'm good on that. I mean, we had fun today. We did on we did a full face of makeup. I have so much stuff on my cheeks. I feel like I both did khaki proud and 
I did her no justice. But also, this isn't about me being like khaki at all. It's me being my own gorgeous middle-aged woman fantasy. Uh, and that wasn't me calling khaki middle-aged, by the way. That was me just saying like, you know, icy lips, icy eyes, tan face, pale body. <laughs> Anyway, if you are new here and you made it all the way to the end of the video, I hope you had fun. I had fun. I had fun. I complained a little and I also had fun. So I think that's what every video should be. You complain a little bit and then you have fun. We did that. So subscribe for more of <laughs> more complaining and more fun. Make sure you like this video because that just really helps me in the algorithm. And I'm also on Patreon.com if you'd like to support me there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And remember to follow your hoat and you will find me.